Kanzat Shemaev is one of the funniest dudes ever, I swear. It's like each and every single time there is a main event winner, there has to be like a bot that the UFC designed or something that automatically puts out a tweet challenging that winner. Uh, he has one right here for Leon Edwards. He has one against Alex Pereira. He has one against um, Israel Asanya. He had one against Sean Strickland. And yesterday, he challenged Dreykus Duplessis for UFC 300. The likelihood of seeing Kanzab Chemaev at UFC 300 are very slim because there's bigger stars that have already hinted at challenging uh, Dreykus Duplessis for the middleweight title. That being Alex Pereira that put out uh, Instagram post earlier today and Israel Desanya who posted a tweet as soon as Dreykus Duplessis won the title last night. Now, I hope that we can all agree with the point that Kanza Chemaev really doesn't deserve to fight for the belt, mainly for the fact that he hasn't beat a real 185er yet. Um, he fought Kamaru Usman at middleweight, but honestly, it's not enough for him to be proven at that weight class. In my opinion, he needs to fight somebody ranked, maybe have a couple fights at, in the middleweight division, and then probably challenge for the title. But in my eyes and the way that I see it, I don't feel like he's proven himself in that middleweight division and there is still fighters that are, like I said, bigger stars in the organization that probably have a better chance at fighting for the title next. Now, obviously, Kanza Shemaev needs a strong case to fight for the title next. And in my opinion, he has a short pass to a title fight, I think, two fights away. But those two fights, probably, that are going to lead him to the title fight need to be uh, very specific fighters. Now, I feel like Kaza Chimaev needs to fight another fighter who has very strong trajectory towards fighting for the title in the next couple of years, and that's probably someone like Brendan Allen. I feel like if Kaza Chimaev beats someone that's right out of the top five who has been proven to be a very, very good fighter like Brendan Allen, then I think that that would make a great case for him to fight somebody in the top five, whether that be Paulo Costa, Marvin Vittori, or Jared Cannonier. If he has a successful uh, fight against uh, somebody in the top five, like the names that I just mentioned, then he would have a very strong case for challenging for the title next. Now, in my eyes, this is all just wishful thinking and anything could happen. I mean, we are talking about the UFC. The UFC don't go about things in a fair way. They only care about making money and getting these money fights. But I understand it. It's a business, right? They're not in the game of like uh, creating favors for anybody. They're trying to make as much money as possible. And I get it. I don't hold that against them. Uh, business is business. Money talks at the end of the day. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Do you guys think that Kanza Chemaev has a real chance at potentially fighting for the title next? I don't think so. But let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.